Now that we've covered second order partial derivatives, um, we want to talk about higher order partial derivatives. So that's when you're taking the third or fourth or fifth partial derivative. And as you can imagine, by the fact that we have four second order partial derivatives, the higher you get, the more derivatives you're taking, the more options you have. We're just going to focus on three. So we're going to let f of xyz equal x times y to the fourth times z cubed. And we want to show that f sub xyz equals f sub xzy equals f sub zyx. So we're switching around the order in which we take our partial derivatives and we want to show that our results are equal in all of these three cases. So we'll start with f x y z and remember we take the derivative with respect to the variable that's closest to our function first. So we're going to do x and then we'll take that result and take the derivative of that with respect to y and then we'll take the result of that and take the derivative with respect to z. So this is the partial derivative with respect to z, that's going to be the last one we do, of the partial derivative with respect to y, that'll be the second one that we do, of the partial derivative with respect to x of x y to the fourth z cubed. Now we'll focus on the um, partial derivative of our original with respect to x first, and that is y to the fourth z cubed because the partial derivative with respect to x, x is just derivative 1, and then that constant multiple y to the fourth z cubed is what's left. So now we have the partial derivative with respect to z, which will be our, our last thing we do, of the partial derivative with respect to y of our result from the last one, y to the fourth z cubed. So we take the derivative with respect to y, and we get 4y cubed times z cubed, because z cubed is like a constant multiple. So now we take the partial derivative of this with respect to z. So we have partial derivative with respect to z of 4y cubed z cubed, and this is with respect to z. So we get 4y cubed is our constant multiple times 3z squared, the derivative of z cubed. So it equals 12y cubed z squared. So now we want to um, switch our order around and show that f sub xzy is equivalent to the same thing. So f of f sub xzy is equal to the partial derivative with respect to y. That'll be the last derivative that we do of the partial derivative with respect to z, that'll be the second one we do, of the partial derivative with respect to x, of x y to the fourth z cubed. Okay, so with respect to x, this is going to be um, y to the fourth z cubed, because derivative of x is just one. So now we have the partial derivative with respect to y of the partial derivative with respect to z of y to the fourth z cubed. And with respect to z, that's going to be y to the fourth times 3z squared, which is 3y to the fourth z squared. So now the only thing we have left to do is take the partial derivative with respect to y of 3y to the fourth z squared. And with respect to y, you're going to bring down the 4, decrease the exponent by 1, so I'll get 12y cubed z squared. So we've shown that these two are equal. I'm going to leave the last one to you, f sub zyx. Remember, you're going to do um, with respect to z first, with respect to y second, and with respect to x last. So the x will be um, the outside partial derivative and you should end up with 12y cubed z squared. So we have a special property that we'll see in the next um, video that says that if your um, function meets certain criteria, then your 
third order partial derivatives um, will all be equal to each other no matter which order you do them in, but your function does have to meet certain criteria.